Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a review and setup on this Roku Streaming Stick Plus. This was one of Amazon Prime Day's specials. Now this is a streaming stick and it's going to, it's got an HDMI out and you're going to plug that HDMI the stick right into the back of an HDMI port and then that's where it's going to get power from. Okay, so your streaming stick is going to come with two cables. So this end of the cable is going to plug right into the side of the streaming stick. And then this is just a standard USB cable. You can either get power from a um, plug-in connector or you're going to probably get it from your TV. You're going to plug this into your TV. This is just an extension cable for this USB uh, connection. So you can plug that into there and this will give you more of a, it just extends this cable. Okay, it takes two uh, AAA batteries. They both go in with the positive side facing up. Okay, so on the back side of your TV, you're going to have to find an HDMI in. And you're going to want to make note of which HDMI port you're plugging it into. They have little numbers on them beside it. And then your TV will probably have an, a USB port that you can get power off of. So you're going to plug the USB port into here and the HDMI port into there. Okay, so HDMIs will only go one way. Now normally, sometimes these used to come with little dongles that you could extend. So if, this, if you didn't have enough room to put it in right here, it would have a little dongle that would uh, be flexible and give you room for it. But this one does not come with it. Same with the uh, USB. It's only going to go in one way. Okay, so I want you to see this is how one possible setup could be. It does have a little light on it, letting me know that it has power. But you're going to have it plugged into an HDMI port, and you're going to get power from a USB, and it's going to have this little bitty cable. One thing I do want to show you on this stick is it does have a reset button. Now, sometimes you do have to get to that reset button. It's not very often. A lot of times just turning power on and off will reset these things, but they are like little computers in there that just need to be reset once in a while. Okay, so what you're going to have to do now is you're going to have to find your TV remote. And I had that plugged into HDMI 2. And you're going to have to find the source button on your, your remote. And what that's going to do is that's going to change where the TV gets its information from. So you're going to have to get it from HDMI 2. So right there I brought up the source button and it brings up HDMI 2 now. A lot of TVs are different, but it's mainly source or input it might say but you're gonna have to change that to find where you plugged the uh, roku into which hdmi port did you plug it into okay so for demonstration purposes i've got an hdmi extender that comes out to the front of my tv and i've got the roku stick plugged into it just like an hdmi port on the back of your tv and i'm going to use this extender cable you plug that extender cable and then you can use the wall outlet to get power from Okay, in the instruction manual, here's where it talks about that uh, extender cable. It's free from Roku. These used to come with the, the Roku sticks, but they don't anymore. So you got to go to their website and get it for free. If your uh, streaming stick doesn't fit in to the side of your TV. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is I've got this powered on. I haven't done anything. This is the first screen you're going to see. It talks about pairing your remote. So on the in the battery compartment of your remote there's this little button and you're going to press that button for three seconds okay and now it's pairing and the green light is flashing or it did flash a few times there was a green light right here that did flash a few times okay now you're to the english screen you're going to use this thumb wheel kind of like a computer mouse you're going to be able to scroll and then when you find the one you want hit ok is like select to look for a wireless network okay so you have to have Wi-Fi in order for this to work so I, I'm gonna select the Wi-Fi signal that's mine you may see your neighbors and then you're gonna have to know the password so you should know the password for your Wi-Fi if you don't it might be written on the router so your Wi-Fi router wherever your uh, internet comes into the house 
you may have to look on the back of your router. Okay, so once you enter in your password using the, the characters here in the thumb wheel, you're going to go down and hit connect. It's going to do a, a check of your internet connection, make sure it's good. So, and of course, all these things have updates when you first plug them in, it seems like. So you got to do an update. Hit, hit the OK button to do the update. Okay, after the update, it's gonna wanna, it says, you want me to auto detect the display type. Select OK, it's gonna to see what kind of TV you have and what it's capable of uh, producing. So this usually works pretty well. Just hit OK. And see, it's checking your TV and your HDMI connection. Okay, so depending on what your TV and HDMI cable and everything come up with, this screen may look a little different. But I'm going to go up to force output to automatic. Okay, it comes up, comes up with the next thing that says, is your screen displaying correctly? Say, yes, screen looks good, if it looks good. Okay, so the next thing on here is TV and volume can be controlled from your Roku remote. So this button here can, can, can uh, turn your TV on and off. And then it's got this volume on the side. Now you're probably going to have to use infrared for this, so you have to point it line of sight. The nice thing about the Roku stick is this remote does not have to be pointing right at the stick for the Roku portion to work. But for the TV portion to work, it has to use infrared. So this has to be pointing at the infrared sensor on the, on the TV. Okay, so it has a little plastic protective shield. Make sure you remove that plastic. Okay, so we're going to check remote settings. Yes, music is playing. So then the, the, remote, um, the music did not stop playing, so I had to enter no. And now it's going to ask me to enter the, the TV brand name. Okay, so you can type, start typing in the name of the TV, and then it should come up over here on the right and select. Yes, music is playing. So success, your Roku remote is set up to control your TV power. Okay, so after setting that up, it's gonna you have to um, have a Roku account. I know some people are like, why do I need to do, I just want to start streaming. But Roku makes you, you're going to have to have an email address, you're going to have to get a Roku account. And you actually have to give Roku your credit card number. Now you don't, they're not going to charge you anything um, to start streaming the like Netflix and stuff that you already have. They ask for a credit card and it explains it and that's one of the number one questions in the manual here is why do I need to enter a credit card? And it's basically so it makes it easier in the future if you want to rent a movie. But they're not going to charge you if you just want to set this up and start streaming your stuff. But you do have to have, give them a credit card number and set up an account. So again, you have to, this is, you have to enter in your email address. And you got to use it using this. It takes a little bit, but you can get it done. Okay, so, so once you enter in your email address, you actually have to go to your email. It's going to send you a... Uh, an activation link that you've got to click on in your email and you can use your phone or your desktop okay so this is what the email looks like and it's got this blue hyperlink right there is what you click on okay so you can name the, when you click on that link it asks you to name your device and pick what room it is and you have to click this little box that says I have read and agreed to the, to the user agreement okay the next thing in the email it says do you pay for cable or satellite TV I have direct TV, but you can probably pick whichever one you have. Okay, then the next screen it asks you, do you have Netflix? Do you have Prime Video? Do you have Disney Plus? You're gonna select all the ones that you have and hit continue. And it's gonna ask you for some interest so it can display things that you might be like that you might like in the future. You can hit free movies. Maybe if you're interested in buying and renting movies, maybe the news. And you're gonna hit continue. So this is where it's going to say, do you want to add more uh, channels to your Roku? And for right now, let's just hit continue. Okay, so, so Roku does give you four free trials. And these are actually decent to try. Um, 
maybe the Showtime one. I mean, these are just, it is free, but you got to be careful. They will start charging you after the free trial's over. So this is where you could set those up, but we're not going to do that right now. Okay, so what's frustrating about this one? This is a really long screen. You got to scroll all the way down, and then you can hit the continue button. Okay, so the very last screen you're going to see, it, you, you can have a, you can install a Roku app on your phone. I've installed it. I haven't used it that much because these come with a remote and you can pretty much, you're going to do everything from the remote. So I have not done that. So it says it's all done. You're complete. And what's happening is now is it's installing the channels. So what you're going to see is on this main menu after the, this takes a while, um, it's going to install 57 channels and I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Okay. So when it's done installing all those apps, you're going to hit the right arrow because it's got this right arrow that's clicking. So it says all done. Okay, so this is the main screen. This is called the home screen. And you can see where you're at by highlight. The home is highlighted. So I can scroll down. But what I'm going to do is, is go over to the right. Now these are what your channels are. And you can, you can arrange these channels. And you can uninstall and install more channels. I don't use a lot of these other channels. I use YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, and Google Play. And you're just going to scroll over to one and hit select okay so you will have to sign into your netflix account when you if you want to uh, stream netflix okay so once you're signed into netflix you're just going to use the up down arrow to kind of scroll and see what you want to watch it's got all the the stuff that you would normally see on a, on a netflix screen Okay, so back to this home screen. I don't use this thing a whole lot other than this home screen. I've never really scrolled down through the featured free. It does. It looks like it's got some stuff. Sometimes these have commercials in them. But your streaming channels. And you can go through and you can, you can select some streaming channels you would like to add. So if you wanted to... Uh, you could select that one and it would say add channel say sure add channel okay so one nice feature that I haven't used a lot is this thing does have a, a microphone and it does respond to voice for searches and stuff so I'm gonna practice here play friends so it come up with multiple options you know I'm sure you'd have to pay for these if you want to watch them but it I've never used that that much, but it is an option for you. Okay, so one of the nice things about these uh, Roku's is their screen savers are, can be really pretty. So if you go to settings and go to themes, it's got wall um, wallpapers and screen savers. They've got some pretty neat screen savers that you can get for free, and some you got to pay for. But the one I like the most, I have I'm a big Google Photos fan. So I, I installed this photo view and it displays my Google Photos. Okay, so the, again, I'm just gonna go over the basic features. This has a, a, these Roku's can do a lot, but just to get, most people are gonna use them just to get to Netflix, their Prime Video. And so this is gonna be, every time you turn it on, this is gonna be your home screen. And over here, you're gonna go to the right and then these are gonna be your channels. And like I said, you, I'm gonna show you how to arrange the order. Okay, so the way to make your home page look the way you want it to look is up in that top right hand corner it says options is that little star button right there. So if I don't want to see CBS News, I can press this little star button and it's going to bring up a menu and I can put remove channel and then it doesn't display it anymore. So if I want to remove that little icon tips and tricks Press it again. Let's say I want to move it. So then I can I can position these icons anywhere I want. So you can see that line. This is the top. So if I want this to be really close to the top, I'm going to move it to the top and hit enter. And now it's it's right there every time. So again, you're going to have a lot of apps on here that you're never going to use. So you just want to hit that star button. And then remove channel. And you can give it a rating like Netflix. If you really like it, you can give it a thumbs up. So I'll just go over the remote. 
it's got these uh, quick links here on the bottom that you can press and it'll go right to your that channel. These uh, fast forward and pause and play are good when you're in Netflix playing a video. And then uh, it's got the home button. The home button always brings you back to here. So again, this is just a dad. I wanted to do a really simple step-by-step -step video on how to set up a Roku. I've helped some people set, one, set them up and these can be kind of complicated if you've never really dealt with them before. And sometimes we take that for granted, uh, the ones of us that use this stuff every day. So I just want this video to help. And would you please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.